The great ever persistent question of swordsmanship. Which is better, the katana or the long sword? Or you may have heard this phrase in other ways, ways that clearly show their bias of questions like, why is the katana sharper and faster and deadlier than European swords? Or why, how the long sword is way better than that trashy katana? Now, let's really look at a true comparison of these two great swords. If we first look at weight, the katana on average weighs 1.1 to 1.5 kilograms, to the long swords 1.1 to 1.8 kilograms. In practice, that's roughly equivalent on average. They're pretty similar in weight. Now to blade length and overall length. The katana's blade length is on average 60 to 80 centimeters, while the long swords is 90 to 110 centimeters. And these are the lengths that are truly important, as the length from your lead hand is the reach you're actually going to get out of the blade when used properly with two hands. If we look at this, longers have longer blades and have greater reach, substantially greater reach. It can be over a foot further in reach. So that is substantial difference. Now, katanas are single-edged, while long swords are double-edged. The double-edged nature of long swords facilitates quicker follow-up strikes, as you can strike with the, what's called the false edge, that back edge, which is very advantageous. The katana's single-edged nature can allow for a shallower edge profile, which in theory can allow for a sharper edge. But katana blades are on average a lot thicker than long sword blades, so in practice they end up being equivalently sharp. Now, long swords table double edge nature is better for thrusting, as it is a straight point for impact and a very narrow fine point to penetrate. It is true that long swords are more flexible than katanas, but not that much to make that big of a difference. And in the end, katana's blade profile, tip, and angle of their curve make them not as advantageous for thrusting. From the long swords and katanas I've wielded, long swords are more lively in the hand, easier to change directions of the strike or to go from defense to offense. And also from my experience, katanas are a little easier to keep good edge alignment with and thus perform a clean cut with. Now going into their construction methods, traditionally made katanas stay bent when they are bent, as the iron is not as good and when they are formed, they are formed at differential hardening to improve the quality of the steel as the steel they had access to wasn't that great, but in the same nature that makes them not springy and causes the blade to bend when it's been and stay that way. In contrast, traditionally made long swords are spring-like, so when they bend, they often will spring straight back to where they were. In practice, this makes long swords more durable. Now if we go back a little bit into their uses, long swords are clearly straight, while katanas are slightly curved. Often it's been said that katana's curve helps them cut better, but it's not that much of a curve to actually truly contribute to a better cutting. It helps a little bit with edge alignment, but not much past that. And when it truly comes to that curve, the edges of many long swords are equally and sometimes even more curved, as you can get that gradual curve from a straight blade when you have two edges with both having that curve. So really, it's not that big of a difference when it comes to the curve. There is some points where the slight curve of the katana does come in handy, and that is from her horseback. Curved blades are better on horseback. Yes, I know the ghost of General Patton is now going to hunt me down because I just criticized his cavalry sword, which is straight. But yes, curved swords are better on horseback, as when you cut with them, or especially when you thrust with them, a curved blade would turn away after the strike and come out. A straight blade often runs straight through and gets stuck, as it's so good at with definitely the thrust that they run straight through and you lose your blade. 
But in the end, we find both the katana and longsword are wonderful swords. If I had to carry one of the, or the other as a secondary weapon, as swords are secondary weapons and poems are primaries, into a medieval battle whether in Europe or Japan, I'll be fine with either, though I'd prefer the longsword in most cases. And though the katana is a better cavalry sword, it's kind of a two-handed saber. So on horseback, it has some advantages. But if you look once again at the specifics, the longsword can strike from further away, which in a way is earlier and quicker, can respond slightly quicker, has more options for striking, is better against armor, and is more durable, while the katana is a little easier to cut with, and less likely to get stuck when used from horseback. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. A few sources and other resources may be found in the description below.